Hey guys, it's Dave Tran here and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play I Will Follow You Into The Dark by Death Cab For Cutie. Now this song's absolutely amazing. It sounds great, but it's also super simple. So it's a really good one to learn for the beginners who want a song that sounds stunning. So anyway, for the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need your capo on fifth fret. There's nine chord shapes that you'll need to know for this song. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. So the nine chord shapes you'll need to know are A minor, A minor slash E. So that's exactly the same as an A minor, except you're letting the top sixth string ring out as well. We have C, we have C slash G. Now that's basically the same as a C, except you're gonna take your ring finger and you're going to put it on the 6th string of the 3rd fret relative to the capo and you're going to take your pinky and you're going to put that on the 5th string of the 3rd fret relative to the capo and you're going to hit every string and that's C slash G we have F and F minor which is the same thing, you just lift your middle finger we have G and then G slash B which is the same thing except you don't hit the top 6th string and finally, our last chord is E major. Now there's just gonna be one strumming pattern throughout the whole song, and it's really simple. It's just down, down, up. And it's exceptional sound like down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Now up in the chord annotations here, I'm just gonna put a small number next to each chord, and that will just signify the amount of times you'll be playing that strumming pattern for each chord. So for example, if I had a two next to a C, that would mean that I'm playing the C chord for two strumming patterns, which would sound like this. Now for the strumming pattern on the first down strum, you'll just wanna concentrate on the bass note for each chord. So for the C, for example, you'll concentrate on the bass note for the down strum, and then for the down up, you'll hit all the strings. So it'll sound like this. And that is used throughout the whole song. So we'll start with the intro, which is also the same as the first two choruses. And there's four lines of chords that we'll need to learn here. The first line of chords will go A minor, C, F, C, and then G slash B. The first three chords are gonna be played for two strumming patterns each, and then the last two chords are gonna be played for one strumming pattern each. Altogether, the first line will sound something like this. Now we move on to the second line of chords, and we have three chords. We go A minor, C, and then G. The first two chords for two strumming patterns, and the third chord for four strumming patterns. And it'll sound like this. The third line of chords, we have A minor, C, E, A minor, G. The first three chords for two strumming patterns and the last two chords for one strumming pattern each. And the third line of chords will sound like this. And finally we get to the last line of chords, which is F, F minor, and then C slash G. The F and the F minor for two strumming patterns each and the C slash G for four strumming patterns. Now for the C slash G, we're gonna do something special here. For the first strumming pattern out of the four, we're gonna be concentrating on hitting the fifth string bass note. And then for the second strumming pattern out of the four, we're gonna be concentrating on hitting the sixth string bass note. And then we're gonna alternate between the two for four strumming patterns. So it's gonna sound something like this. So to recap, you're going to be concentrating on the 5th string bass note for the 1st strumming pattern and then concentrating on the 6th string bass note for the 2nd strumming pattern and then you repeat that. So again, it'll sound like this. And in total, the intro slash chorus will sound like this.
And that's it for the intro slash chorus. Now we move on to the verse, and the verse is just a five chord chord progression. We have C slash G, we have A minor slash E, we have F, and then C and G. The first three chords are going to be played for four strumming patterns each, and then the last two chords have two strumming patterns each. And then we play that whole chord progression twice for the verse. Now for the C slash G, we're gonna be doing that same thing that we did in the intro, which is where we alternate between concentrating on the fifth string bass note and the sixth string bass note. We're also going to be doing that for the A minor slash E chord, which will sound something like this. So again, to recap, you're concentrating on the fifth string bass note, and then for the second strumming pattern, you're concentrating on the sixth string bass note. Altogether, the verse will sound something like this. And one more time, a tiny bit slower. And that's it for the verse. Now for the third verse, there's one extra tiny bit that you'll need to play after the third verse. Now the good thing is it's just an extra bit that you add to the verse. You're not changing the verse or anything, you're just tacking it after the third verse. And it's just two chords. It's A minor and F. The A minor for two strumming patterns and the F for eight strumming patterns. And it'll sound like this. And finally, when we get to the third and final chorus, there's gonna be a tiny tweak to the fourth line of chords. In the first two choruses, you go F, F minor, and then C slash G. In the third chorus, however, we're gonna go F, F minor, C, G slash B, and then A minor. C and G slash B for one strumming pattern, and the A minor for two strumming patterns. So that fourth line of chords for the third chorus will sound like this. And finally, we have one extra line of chords for the third and last chorus, which is just F, F minor, and then C. And you're just going to be strumming those chords once there's no strumming patterns for that last line of chords. And that's everything for I Will Follow You Into The Dark by Death Cab For Cutie, an absolutely amazing song. Now I'm going to be playing the intro verse and chorus, and I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. So play along and see how you go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson for I Will Follow You Into The Dark by Death Cab For Cutie. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more in the future, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave your thoughts, comments and questions below, and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero To Hero. Cheers.